Hello, thank you for joining me. My name is Will, and today oh, Christmas has come early. <laughs> We've got some reviews from the Las Vegas Open 2020. Uh, let's just jump straight into it, shall we? So first up, we've got some new Skitari. A nice little nod to the uh, the video they put out when the hover tanks were coming out, the toasters. Uh, I forget the real name of them. Uh, but it's this sort of lends itself to me thinking there's more to this little narrative. Uh, whether that's going to wrap up in Psychic Awakening or not, I'm not sure. But the person that was originally asking for tanks um, isn't responding anymore. So be cool to see what happens with that going forward so we've got some glorious new mechanical cavalry in the form of these guys called the Teraxi I want to say that's going to confuse a few people <clears throat> but they're very they're very cyberpunk aren't they they're, they're amazing Gun, gunslingers um, these remind me of Wild West Exodus models uh, we've got the like middle guy has got Phosphor Serpenta, I want to say. I might be getting the wrong type of gun there. And uh, an Arc Mole. And, uh, oh, I've just spotted this. The heads are flamers. <laughs> the, <laughs> the mounts have flamers for faces. <laughs> that is incredible. Uh, and then these look like new guns to me. Phosphor sort of, I don't know, flintlock pistols almost. They look really cool. And the same on this side. He's got some kind of phosphor rifle. That's great. They're very... Uh, they're very Wild West Exodus, if you ask me. They look great. And the other ones are more like rangers. With more standard um, flintlock type rifles. What are they? Galvanic rifles. Not sure if that's a new pistol. Galvanic pistol. I say I might be getting the names of these guns wrong, but... Uh, and these guys don't have the flamer heads that the other guys did. <laughs> Amazing. I love it. You know, people wanted more fast attack options for uh, Admech. And, uh, and there's the first one. And here's the second one. Now these were teased in a rumour engine. I think we saw this part of the wing a few, well, a couple months ago, I think. And uh, we all sort of thought the aircraft that came out was... Uh, was what that was pointing to but no I think this was what we were looking at uh, these are very like suppressors to me in the pose the length of the gun you've got the shield behind the barrel these are great uh, the only thing that I think is a downside of these is these are going to be very difficult to transport you know their wingspan is huge like I mean having a unit of Celestine models <laughs> you know they're just difficult to transport but great Two awesome fast attack choices from uh, from Admac there. Yeah, this guy's got a taser go to the stub pistol. This guy's got a heavy stubber by the looks of it. Very nice. So moving on, we've got a little peek at the the next Psychic Awakening book, which is going to be Engine War. Uh, there's been a few rumours of this floating around recently. But it looks like it's going to be uh, Admech, Knights, Chaos Knights, and I'm not entirely sure what that one's supposed to be, other than just Chaos. But we've already had a bit of Chaos, so uh, yeah, not too sure about that. If you know what that is, in fact, does it even say here? Should I have just read it? Demons of Chaos, alright. Well, that was a good bit of research there, wasn't it? But that looks good, I'm excited for that. So let's see what else we've got. Oh, and this is a this is a cool little little teaser trailer. He is no more green skin. We all know who this is. We've all been waiting for it. We've all been hoping it's a Primark level of character, you know, big and impressive and I think they've done him justice. But uh, yeah. They've been, uh, Makari is the little grot that's um, in the fluff. He's like, I don't know, eight, nine, ten years old or something. He's one of the oldest grots that's uh, he survived alongside Gazagul Thraka, who is obviously the model that we're getting in this video here. But it's just a nice little comedic, comedic nod at a teaser. <laughs> also, it looks like he gets his own base, his own model. And he's standing on a 
uh, Tempestus Scion head with his banner. That's cool. I'll be getting that. I don't collect orcs, but I want this. <laughs> Very excited. So moving on to a bit of uh, Age of Sigma news. We've got... Um, what are they called? Lumineth Realm Lords is the name of the new High Elves. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the headdresses on these guys. Uh, this uh, this hollow armour though is really cool. I could see this being... Um, uh, you know, In my mind, this looks like a Catan to me. I could easily see some kind of hollow floating armour as a Catan. That's, I mean, I do that with all the monsters that come out. And then we've got a new Teclas model, which is very impressive. I do like it. Again, his headdress is a little over the top, that, that giant moon symbol. But it is nice. Um, the, the beast that he's with as well is... Names it further down. Uh, where is it? Spirit of Hish? Hayish? However you're supposed to say it. You know... It's a very impressive model. I'm personally just not a fan of, again, the headdress, big giant horns. All right, if that's the look you're going for, but the the human face on it is just creepy. It's like um, like Greek mythical creatures and stuff like that, and Egyptian sphinxes, you know, human heads on things are just creepy to me. I don't know what you, what you think about that. It would have been... I would have preferred to see, like, a giant, uh, you know, lion head make this some kind of griffin or chimera or you know or even even an old style dragon would have been great as a mount um although i guess you can't copyright dragons so yeah very interesting so moving on we've got some seraphon releases so a new book looks like and some new terrain which is cool i've definitely got some 3d models that look very similar to this already so i'll be printing some of those uh, send me a message if anybody wants one. Wink, wink. A uh, bit of artwork. Very nice. Uh, Underworlds, Beast Grave. Got a new band in the Repellent Rockbringers. Which looks like a Nurgle, Nurgle war band. Uh, what would you do for 40k conversions? You could maybe get away with a Malignant Plague Caster for this middle one. Uh, and that's a creepy little Nurgling... Uh, pet thingy <laughs> again human face on a monster is just just creepy <laughs> um not sure there's too much you could do with this guy off the top of my head that guy this one screams uh plague bearer sergeant to me if you know what i mean like the one plague bearer that gets a bit of armor he's got the the same kind of spear crude weapon that might be cool i might, I might get that just to have him as a sergeant for my plague bearers that's uh i quite like that and then <laughs> they do do a little <laughs> look at it hilarious and what do they say ah oh, but also ew. sickening and next up we've got a release for blackstone fortress uh, I'm going to play this trailer because there's a little hint in here to something else from uh, from Age of Sigma, which I bet a lot of people don't spot. So uh, have a quick look at this. Okay, guys, the last Vegas Open preview is coming up. We need to think of something new and amazing to show the fans. It needs to be bold, awesome, but also classic and nostalgic. What have you got? Hit me. What about Sisters of Battle? People like those, right? We just did that, Steve. Keep up. Can we bring back pointy elves? Again, loving the enthusiasm, but that's already in the works. Okay, get this. Codex Primaris Lieutenants. Actually, it's left tenants. And no, the world just isn't ready for that yet. Sons of Bear, Matt. That's just a myth, Steve. Don't be daft. <laughs> <sighs> what about Zotes? I'll mute it from here for the uh, for the music, <laughs> but uh, yeah, did you spot the little teaser in this? Before I get onto the the zotes, which is obviously the main focus of this video, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Sons of Bayamat. 
Uh, I keep wanting to say beer mat. Um, the Sons of Behemoth are, I think, uh, a force of giants from Age of Sigma, or what they're called now, Gargants. So that's cool. I bet we'll see a new giant model, maybe, in the near future. That'd be pretty cool. Maybe a battle tome for that. I mean, not that I collect Sigma, but uh, giants are always cool. It'd be like Sigma version of um, a Knight Codex. <clears throat> oh, conversion potential there. Put some guns on a giant. Anyway, no, don't do it. So this is the the new Zote model for Blackstone Fortress. That's what we we're talking about. Uh, this is a throwback to the past. The, the Zotes were a... I think they were around in Rogue Trader briefly, but also definitely in the second edition Tyranid Codex, and that they were written out of the fluff. These were a sort of semi-independent race connected to the Tyranids, um, and they were used as like Heralds of Doom. I imagine them being like the Silver Surfer, uh, to Galactus, if you know what I mean, like he's the he's the free thinking herald that comes beforehand that that does the master's will. Um, yeah, so they they acted as diplomats for for the Tyranids in a way. They sort of prepared enemies for not thinking of the Tyranids as enemies. Ah, that sort of role. But uh, this is a very nice model, and this is very reminiscent of the. Uh, Dragon Ogres to me. I think they're taking some design cues from that. But that's cool. I like it. And I like that. I, I don't mind that it's back for Blackstone Fortress. You know, it's a single model. I think they even say in the end of the video a Zote, just one, is coming to Blackstone Fortress. Yeah. Nice little touch. Yeah, it's a good throwback to their, their past. They're not forgetting old stuff. They're, they're writing stuff in. You know, we've got. We've got squats in the form of Necromunda characters and stuff. It's nice that they're doing doing throwbacks like that. And then moving on to some rather big news. And that's this. This amazingly revealing uh, picture here. But what this actually is, is finally, finally, new Forge World books. That we've been waiting for, for I don't know how many years now. It's ridiculous. We've been waiting for Imperial Armour 4. 14, I think, was the next one that was gonna gonna come out, and it was gonna be Admech and Tau. I'm sure one of my friends will correct me on that for getting that wrong because he's been dying for that for a long time. Um, but yeah, this is very exciting. New new Forge World books finally. It's they said that the indexes are going to be disappearing, uh, so that's interesting. So grab those if you want them before they go. But yeah, I mean, I, I don't expect this to come out soon. But sometime this year, oh, oh, just just take my money, just take my money. <laughs> I'm ready for that. I think everybody's ready for that. <clears throat> and then moving on, we've got another character for Horus Heresy, uh, Book Nine Crusade. I'm not sure if that's out. I don't really follow the Horus Heresy too much. Uh, Book Nine Crusade, Rotus, Thamra, Thramas, Dark Angels and Niles. I think that's a new book. But I may be mistaken. Forgive me for that. <clears throat> Master of Kashyyyk. Is he a um, white scar? Yeah, he must be. He's got the lightning bolts on his on his helmet. It is a nice, impressive model. What's that he's standing on? Like a metallic blue... Can't work out what he's on. Some kind of admet. He's got tubes and he's got tech implants in his back and he's got a hooded head uh, yeah I can't work out what that is I'm more interested about the base details than the model <clears throat> but very nice yeah and we move on we've got a bit of Warhammer Heroes with more to be announced cool and then finally we've got a little trailer for the Angels of Death um, I won't play this. I'll let you let you watch it in your own time. But it does look very impressive. Um, the only the only thing that was kind of niggling at me watching the trailer, or for a start, it's clear we've got Gene Steeler cults as the uh, antagonists in this little story. Uh, but th yeah, the one thing that was bothering me through this is the, the the voice acting quality. I don't know. I don't know if they've used filters or you know just not 
super high quality um, like voice voice recording equipment. You know, if they've done this in the studio, in the in the Games Workshop, the Warhammer World Studios or something, just in a back room, that it sounds like game quality audio to me. You know, those kind of cheesy voices like enemies. We need enemies. It's a little bit. I don't know doesn't sound like real people speaking and i know you know obviously it's fantasy and it's an animation but yeah just have a listen to the trailer see if you uh see if you can spot what i mean <clears throat> it does look fantastic though and I, i'm very excited for this and i hope it does well because it means that more will follow if it does well so you know even if it's not quite your cup of tea give it a bit of support and uh, and we'll get more stuff in the future um the Eisenhorn series I'm very much looking forward to. Eisenhorn? I'm having a I'm doubting myself now. Is that his name? Isengard? No, that's Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Eisenhorn. So yeah, that's that is a humongous amount of stuff to be revealed in one go. I'm a bit overwhelmed to be honest. Oh I didn't mention these, did I? Pointy elf cavalry. Nice. I'm glad that they've redone the horses. Some of the old Games Workshop horses are just dire. It was just hilarious. Yeah, whoa, creepy head. And I think that's everything. He says, scrolling back to the top where there isn't going to be any newer stuff. Right, well, that was a fun little ramble, wasn't it? So, which was your favourite from uh, from this new reveal? Um, I think I'm most excited about the uh, the Forge World book. No matter what army it's for, I'm, I'm excited for that. I'm excited for this because I've got knights and I've got I've got a few demons. I've got some Nurgle demons. Um, I've also got a Chaos Knight, I guess. I converted uh, a regular knight into a Nurgle knight. Um, I'm excited for Gazagul Thraker. <laughs> I'm excited for all the 40k stuff, really. Um, I say this one. That, I, I could see that being a Catan in my mind you know maybe maybe take the headdress off I don't know what it is with the headdresses on these these pointy elves but uh, you know double sword hollow armour imagine that glowing green and that necron kind of green um, object source lighting from within uh, it might be pretty cool that's what I see when I look at that lizard men terrain pretty cool yeah, I like it. I like it all. <laughs> Let me know what your favourite was down in the comments below. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.